Next up, I am going to brace myself for this one because I've been dreading it all day, but I can't wait to talk to this young man. He is 10 and 0. He is 1-0 in the UFC. He's undefeated. He is the pride of Arkansas. He was on the last season of The Ultimate Fighter. But you probably heard of Bryce Mitchell, a.k.a. Thug Nasty, early last week when he posted on Twitter that he had a horrific accident with a drill that was caught in his pants that mangled his his nutsack and he was very sort of fun about it all and lighthearted about it all and even tweeted pictures of his bloody underwear about it all and it just it made me sick it made me want to faint i've never read anything i mean this is worse than devin powell but amazingly he had a great demeanor and attitude about the whole thing and he's kind enough to actually come on the program and talk about it so let's go to the skype machine and say hello to bryce mitchell who is there living his best life Outdoors, I, I, I almost thought that he'd be in a hospital right now, but no, he's outdoors just, just living the dream. Bryce, how are you? Oh, I'm great, man. Thank you. Can you hear me very well? I can hear you great. Can you hear me? Pretty good. Pretty oh. good. Uh, thank you so much for having me, man. Um, yeah, so about a week ago, I was on a 20-foot ladder, and uh, I was holding up a board. My pockets were full. I was in a and uh, I was looking for a place to put my drill. I didn't have anywhere to put it at the top of that ladder. So I put it in my pants, and uh, which I do not recommend doing. I recommend getting a tool belt. And uh, while I was holding that board up, the drill went off. It uh, tangled up my testicle, my left one. Oh. And uh, But initially, right when it went off, um, it was so painful. I thought that uh, my dick was gone. So I was, like, really worried. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I was worried, but then I looked, it's still there, and my nut was all wrapped up. There was blood and semen leaking everywhere, what? and then uh, I reversed the drill, and my left nut unwound, and uh, I called my girlfriend because I thought I was going to pass out because all the blood I was, I mean, I was fine, but, uh, you know, just losing a lot of blood, so I called my girlfriend just in case I passed out on the way to the hospital, let her know, and then... um. I mean, that's about it, man, and uh, I'm, I'm fine. It hurts a little bit to walk, but I'm good. Holy smokes. And by the way, I love that you just got into the story. I didn't even have to ask you about it. You just got right into it, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um, what what were you doing on the la- – like, do you, do you have another job in construction or something like that? No, I'm not an engineer or anything, but, I mean, I, I'll get the job done eventually. Roof. Okay. I'm trying to put a roof over my truck. Okay, and so you got you're, – you're, are you by yourself? Yes, sir. I was, I was by myself. Uh, I got one neighbor who's who's pretty good. He keeps an eye on me. Um, but he wasn't home, so you okay. know I, I had to drive myself. Or I, you know, that was my only option. <laughs> oh my God! You drove yourself to the hospital? Yes, sir. I was going oh. about ninety <laughs> the oh. whole way there until I hit Race Street. There's a lot of trucks on Race Street, and I slowed. I actually stopped right by a FedEx man on on the way to the hospital. There's this FedEx man, and he was like. You know, look at me. I was driving like a complete ass. I was driving 90 miles an hour. Just, and uh, he looked at me. I said, man, I'm going to the hospital. Check this out. And I go show him my nuts. <laughs> and he started laughing and freaking out. It was funny. Oh, my dear. So when you say that you put the, the drill in your pants, like not in your pocket, like you put it in, like in here, like where, 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 where your like belt would be, and, and it fell in? Yeah, I just put the drill bit like dangling right right by my uh, genitals. Like just put it in just like you would a gun almost like a gang. Yeah. A gun. I had my drill tucked thinking I was gangster and then my nuts got drilled up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it even possible to describe what that felt like? I mean, it was just so much pain at first I couldn't move. And uh, oh but luckily the drill, it stopped. And uh, if it would have kept going, I mean... I probably would have died because I probably would have passed out and it would have ripped the testicle all the way off, probably both of them. But luckily when I, I moved my hips back a little bit and the, the tension on the trigger got released to the drill stop. And then that's when I decided the only thing I could do to re- was reverse it. Wow. And did you fall off the ladder? No, I was, uh, luckily I guess I got somewhat a good balance because I stayed on the ladder and then... Uh, I, threw, I dropped the board down, threw the drill down. It's like a hundred fifty dollar drill, or something. But you know, when you're you're sitting there bleeding out, you don't even care. I just threw the drill down, threw the board down. 
you know, just got straight to the hospital. I thought I was going to pass out. And do you have any idea why it turned on? Uh, just tension. and my Because the trigger, it has a safety. But, you know, I'm not smart enough to use it. <laughs> um, but it has it has a reverse, a forward, and then in the middle it locks in a safety for people like me that want to put it in their pants. And, uh, you know, I didn't use the safety, so I pretty much deserved it. What hurt worse, the the initial, like, you know, tangling or when you tried to untangle? After I untangled it, everything was a lot better because I didn't know. I thought I thought when I untangled it, either it wouldn't work oh. and it would tighten it worse and oh. rip off, or I thought maybe my testicle would just fall out because I didn't know if it was still attached. Oh, my God. But um, I untangled it, and, I mean, everything was fine. It was just a big hole in my nuts. And I was leaking blood and semen, so uh, I had to get to the hospital. And once I got there, it still took like an hour and a half or two to, to treat me. What? So they didn't I put just, you right in? They didn't see you right away? I mean, they saw me, but they was doing like a little blood pressure test. Oh, and my God. <laughs> at what's your height and what's your weight oh and what's God. your this? And I'm, you know, oh. asking me my shoe size and this and that and not treating my my wound but oh my god i live so i'm i'm fine oh my lord that is the and are, are you like i mean you seem like a pretty you know calm cool and collected guy but are you freaking out are you yelling are you are you going nuts well um honestly i heard something and i think things are meant to be i think a couple months ago i heard this guy on the tv or radio he was talking about snake bites and i hunt a lot and i'm always worried about getting bit by a snake but this guy he said if you get bit by a snake, the best thing to do is remain calm. I mean, that's the absolute best thing you can do. If hmm. you want to increase your chances of survival, just remain calm. So I told myself to do the same thing because I was in a situation where I was losing uh, massive amounts of blood. I mean, my core temperature dropped, and I, I, I couldn't stay uh, warm. I was shivering because I lost so much blood. I just told myself to uh, stay calm, control my breathing. And ultimately, I think that helped a lot. Wow. And so once the doctor actually sees you, they stitched you up? Oh, yeah. They put me on morphine. They injected that. And uh, that, that it's pretty strong, man. I've never been injected with morphine before, but it hits you in the chest. I mean, you could feel it. Just boom, right on your chest. And then your arms and legs get heavy. You get kind of tingly. And then they put lip cane right on my nuts. I couldn't feel nothing. <laughs> And how many stitches did you get? I got 13. Man, and is it going to be okay? Like, will you have kids? No problem. Is everything going to work okay? Hopefully I don't have kids, man. I'd, I'd be in trouble if I had some kids, but uh, <laughs> I think everything works good, man. Okay. Um, you you also tweeted a picture of your, of your boxers that we're showing right now. Um, they were very bloody. And uh, that's, I mean, that, I, I, I'm guessing that's probably just... Uh, a, a glimpse of how much blood you lost. And I understand those were one of your favorite pairs of boxers. Yeah, those were some of the pairs I got from Ultimate Fighter. Oh. I actually, when I went on the show, they give you the option with the request list. They say, what do you want? When I went on the show, I was low on boxers and socks. So I just, every day, I would request boxers and socks. And since everybody else was asking for shoes and hoodies and T-shirts and gloves and and I was just asking for the cheap boxers and socks. They gave me a whole suitcase. By, by the end of the show, I've got so much boxers and socks, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Enough for the next 10 years. Wow. Um, and how? Uh, explain to me this. When you tweeted it, how many hours after the accident was it? When you tweeted out the update? Um, I actually don't tweet anything that's coming off of Twitter is from my manager. Okay. My Twitter account got banned for supporting the Second Amendment, which I still stand pretty firm with. I'm not budging on that. I like the Second Amendment. Uh, Twitter banned me for supporting it. So now I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram wants to start taking down my squirrel pictures. So I probably won't even have Instagram for very long. But uh, I do like Facebook. Best thing about Facebook, and I'll tell you where it beats all these other companies, is the marketplace. I'm telling you, you get the best deals on the Facebook marketplace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what are you talking about? Cheap squirrel cars, squirrel trailers, pictures. What's pools, squirrel pictures? Anything you can think of. Facebook marketplace. What are you talking about squirrel pictures on Instagram? What's squirrel pictures? I couldn't hear you, brother. What was that? You said that uh, Instagram doesn't like your squirrel pictures? Oh, yeah, they started taking down my squirrel pictures. I don't know. Uh, 
I guess some. Um, what squirrel pig? Some animal rights activist groups had something to do with it. What? You know, what about when people post a picture of a cheeseburger? That's eating meat. You know, how come we don't take a picture of the cheeseburgers now? How come we just got to take my squirrel pictures now? So, I don't know. You know, they just go down there, take down whatever pictures they want. So, it wouldn't surprise me if in a month my whole account got banned for some obscene picture I posted or something. What's the squirrel doing in the picture? You're shooting the squirrel? Uh, three of them had already been shot, and one of them was a gut shot, so I skinned it. Oh, so my. I had a picture of uh, two squirrels and then one that was getting clean. Man, and I what? took a picture of it, and they banned it. So. What do you do with the squirrel after you clean it? Um, well, if you're going to eat it that night, you just keep the meat in the fridge, you know, and if you freeze it, you just seal it up or whatever you do, put it in the freezer. You eat the and squirrel? I couldn't hear you. What was that, brother? You actually eat the squirrel? Oh, yeah, for sure. What? Really? Oh, yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> I'm actually, my girl's making a squirrel noodle soup tonight. Oh, God. And where do you get the squirrels from outside? Just like in your yard? Man, I can't hear nothing out here. What, what do you, I, I, I think it's a little windy. Where, where do you get the squirrels from? Your yard? Oh, there's a bunch of places to get squirrels. My buddies let me go in their yard. Uh, there's public land. There, I mean, I mean, there's. You, I could even get them in my yard when I used to live uh, in town. I had a little 22 out there in the backyard. To shoot at them. You know, not the smartest idea, but wow. <laughs> I probably won't do it again. But I have before. Um, okay, well, back to the 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 post you posted on Facebook. I just wanted to know how you were so lighthearted about it all. Like you were joking about it. I, I like, how, how were you able to do that when, when you were in the hospital? Uh, I, I don't know, man. I just thought the whole thing was a little bit funny. And, I mean, it's completely my fault. There's nobody to blame. So I felt like an idiot. And, uh, you know, it's just, I guess it's just easier to laugh it off, you know, but I learned a lesson that some people, I'm sure they'd have fell off the ladder and died. So I'm I'm really lucky that you know nothing worse worse happened to me. Yeah, I would have been one of those people who fell off the ladder and died. There's no doubt about that. Um, <laughs> how long were you in the hospital for? I say like three four hours, about an hour and a half to pick me up, and then it took about an hour and a half to actually get to. Me before I mean, I was just, I was sitting there waiting. Holy smokes! And then you just left. You didn't stay there overnight. No, I was still on that morphine. He said, you can't drive, operate. Yeah. My girlfriend said, you ain't driving home. I keys, watch this. I, and I drove home. I was fine. I mean, there's... I was, they gave me a little bit of morphine, but other than that, I was fine. And what about your actual fighting career? Like, how long do you have to be out for in terms of training? I think it's just going to put me back about two or three weeks. I'll, I'll get back into it. Like, I mean, the skin's already... Uh, healing up. I know that's probably too much information, but um, skin's yeah. looking pretty good right now. A lot better than it was. All right. That's, <laughs> that's good. Um, are you worried about getting kicked there? I, I saw Diamond MMA reached out to you. Are you going to take them up on that offer? Oh, yeah. If, if they uh, reach out to me, I'll definitely take that. I've heard about them. I've never worn a Diamond uh, cup before, but yeah, that's going to be the utmost importance when I get back to the gym is protecting my nuts. Are you worried about that of someone hitting you there? Um, uh, I'm more worried about the jiu-jitsu, honestly, like something getting caught, hugged, you know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, like I'm sprawling and my nuts get caught on some dude's shoulder or forehead or something, and Start you know, there. something like that is I'm worried. about. Yeah, I can see why. Um, and what about me undies? They also reached out to you. They want to send you some underwear. Are they actually going to do it? Yeah, they're sending me a care package. I think they're going to send it to my manager. Or if they have sent it, I ain't got it yet. It's in the mail, but definitely sending me something. I really appreciate it. This is unbelievable. You, you're actually getting like free gear out of this amazing, horrific accident. Yeah, it ain't so bad. You know, I, I learned a very important lesson in the process. What's the lesson? I'll get a tool belt. Okay. <laughs> have you never used one before? Have I what, brother? Have you never used a tool belt before? A little bit, you know, but 
you know, I didn't really know the exact importance of it till now. Right. And what has it been like? I mean, I've seen every outlet talk about this. Every outlet posted about it. You're 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 now famous for getting your nuts, you know, tangled up in a in a drill. What has that been like for you? Uh, I mean, just about normal, man. Nothing's really changed in my daily activity. I walk with a little bit more of a waddle, yeah. but other than that, everything's the same. Uh, are a lot of people coming up to you? I mean, you're from a small town, right? Cabot, Arkansas? Yes, sir. I'm from Cabot, Arkansas. Are a lot of people coming up to you and asking you about this? Yeah, I go, I go to school, man. A bunch of people at school are at me, and um, they just want to know. And I mean, I had at least 100 texts. Wow. You know, just people I know just coming out to woodwork. They didn't know if I was dead or what. Wow. And is your girlfriend helping you? She's supportive? She's She's taking good care of you? Oh, yeah. She's been great. Um, I got really lucky too because if it would have happened a couple days before, we'd have been in a lot of trouble because she actually had a stomach condition um, from antibiotics. I guess it's called colitis or something. Yeah. But she she had staph in her arm and her eyelids, so they put her on really strong antibiotics, and she got colitis. Whoa. So so um, she couldn't move for a week. She just sat on the couch. But luckily, the at the time of the incident, she was, she was moving a little bit. So she could walk around and help me. Okay, wow. What timing. Unbelie are you going to take a break from working on, on your house and stuff, or are you going to go right back no, at it? I'm going to get that roof done, or I'm going to die trying. Okay. <laughs> Would it be fair to say that's the worst pain you ever experienced in your life? Uh, most definitely, man. It's definitely the worst pain, um, especially till I unwound that tension. Once I unwound the tension, it was all just kind of like a burning type of pain. But when it first wound up, it was like gut wrenching. Like I mean, like I was gonna throw up. Like I couldn't move. I couldn't have. I couldn't have got down the ladder if I wanted to. Couldn't move. You know, I was just froze. But uh, after I unwound it, I was fine. Wow. All right. Well, uh, anyone from the UFC reach out? You, you get any love from them? No, I don't talk to anybody in the UFC. They all got my manager number, so they just go to Matt. But um, I haven't heard anything from him, brother. Okay, and 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 now it's amazing because your nickname is Thug Nasty. So I mean, it just kind of fits. Why do they call you Thug Nasty? Uh, my buddy just started calling me that back in uh, high school, so it stuck. That you know, once somebody starts calling it, and another person does, it just sticks with you. Amazing! What a story. Well, you really handled this well. You know, kudos to you for that. I don't know if I could be so, you know, so so happy-go-lucky about the whole thing, but you've taught us a valuable <laughs> lesson here: how to handle adversity and also to to properly hold our 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 drills and, and tool belts. That's a very key lesson, I think, that we've learned from all of this. Uh, good on you, my man. Thanks for doing this, and I hope that you recover quickly and 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 safely, and that uh, nothing like this ever happens to you again. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. It's an honor coming on. You have a good day, brother. All right, same to you. There he is.